Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best render settings in Sony Vegas Pro. So what you want to do is go to File and New. This will actually show you the new project or the render settings if you prefer. So I'm going to go over them one by one. So up here you're going to have the template title. So this is going to be the title. Just name it whatever you want. You can also just name it Settings. And what more important is going to be is that uh, the width and height here, which is going to be 920 by 1080 Like every YouTube video and thumbnail nowadays, it's going to be 920 by 1080 be sure it's on that. Pixels, of course. So this here you can leave on non-progressive scan. This you can leave at 1, the pixel ratio. And then you have the output rotation, which can be also at 0 here. This is not really that important. You can leave it like that. Then, of course, this is going to be really important. It's going to be the frame rate or the FPS, which nowadays is going to be uh, at least what you need for video, 60 FPS. So just be sure that this is on 60 or in this case, like 59, 940, double NTSC. It's considered 60 FPS, so be sure it's on that. Surrender settings, so you can just leave this. Um, then you have the pixel format here, 8 bit. Um, then the re full resolution rendering quality, so after it's been fully uh, rendered. You want to make sure, of course, that it's going to be the best quality, even though you have a low um, working computer. If your computer is not that good, even in that case, you want it to be on the best um, option here. So just make sure that it's on best. Then you have the motion blur type. I always go for Gaussian blur. Also in Photoshop, same thing. If I use a blur in whatever situation, I always make sure it's going to be Gaussian blur because Gaussian blur is one of the best blurs. It doesn't add like weird shapes of blur. It doesn't do anything weird. It just blurs the image simply. So that's why I like the Gaussian type of blur. So I would definitely advise you to use that as well. Then here, the resample mode, smart resample. This is a pretty important one here. You can select this one. If you do it for the first time, you select this one. You can do adjust source media to better match projects or render settings. And uh, you can also select this one if you want to start every project with those settings. So these are pretty important to select if you do this for the first time. This is gonna be a basic or a standard uh, file path. So I don't think you have to change this. I think this is basic or standard already. So you don't really have to do anything with this. And then before continuing, I also want to show you the audio tab. Um, you want to make sure that this is on stereo. That's actually pretty important. Then here the sample rate, uh, 48 Hertz. Uh, definitely in all cases, this is like a really good, it's standard, but it's good quality of uh, audio. So be sure it's at 48. At the bit depth, 16, and of course the resample and scratch quality, you want it to be at uh, at its best. And then here you also have the other recorded files uh, folder. And then of course uh, down here you also have that start all projects with the settings option. Here you have some other specific ones that you can do like beats per minute, what's going to be the beats per minute, um, what's going to be the beats per measure. These are more specific options. Uh, also the times and frames. For the rest, here you can make your own uh, template, your own form. You can make that, uh, fill that in. This is actually to make your audio CD. That's uh, also the actual option here. But to sum it up, it's really just, um, these are really more the more important ones together with the audio tab. Make sure that they match. And um, yeah, you can definitely do a lot of things. And I definitely advise you to use these settings, even if your computer is not the best computer. Like my computer is not the best either anymore. So um, I definitely uh, support uh, my recordings with those settings. So if you have a high one, you can even go for higher settings. But these are already pretty much the standard for low end computers and high end computers. So there's not really too much to change here. Now that was it for this best render settings video. Uh, in Sony Vegas. So if you like this video, please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.